In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to take artwork like this, which is much larger than what our vinyl cutter can actually physically cut, and how to use the tiling option in the Send to Be Cut module. So I'll show you how that works. Click on this button up here, and as you can see our artwork is too big for this particular vinyl. And you'll see this little icon here which tell is telling us our artwork is too big. So the solution is to use tiling. So we click on this tab up here, like so, and what we have to do is set our tile overlap. Now what tile overlap is referring to is the actual overlap between the two cut files when they're split off from each other. In other words, how much you overlap one part or one half of the artwork onto the other. I'll explain what I mean in a moment. But let's say we use quarter of an inch or you might use say 10 mil or whatever it happens to be depending on your units. You set your tile overlap and what you have to do is allow for the overlap by reducing the vinyl width, the cuttable width. So that allows for the extra overlap that you're going to use. So in this case, I take off half an inch here because I've got quarter of an inch each way. So I'm going to make this 24.3 inches. Once I've set that width, the next stage is to check this box here, automatic tiling. And we can see a preview over here of how it's going to tile the artwork for us. And if I go to this color here, you can see how it's going to tile that section. Now I'm given these couple of other options here. And what I'll do is I'm going to zoom in. I'm just going to show you how that overlap actually works. As you can see here, here's my quarter of an inch overlap, or six millimeters. What that means is, is this top part of this letter here will cut to this section and back over again. And this bottom half will cut to this other side, this darker blue side of the line. And that will become my uh, half inch, or sorry, quarter inch or six millimeter overlap. But I needed uh, half an inch or 12 millimeter of vinyl to cover that because it's cutting it in both directions. The other option here, cut tile crossings, what that's talking about is rather than just coming here and stopping the cut here and then coming over here and starting the cut again, cut tile crossings will actually cut along here as well. So that means when you weed the artwork out, it's a lot easier to work with. So that's uh, a pretty important thing to have checked if that's what you wanted to do. Now the other thing, uh, equal tile sizes, I'll just zoom out to all. You can see here at the moment the two tile sizes are this size, but if I click uh, or check here, you can see it makes the tile sizes this size here and the same on this artwork. So once you've set those settings and you're happy with that, uh, you click cut now and that loads it directly into the vinyl spooler as you can see here ready for cutting and I've got my two uh, pieces here which I'm working on red at the moment and you can see that that's how that particularly works. So that's how you do the simple um, side of the tiling. There's also a more complicated version or a version that's a little bit more powerful. So if I click this button here, edit tiles, this window pops up. And if I click on the artwork like this, I'm presented with all these options as you can see. What I'm really interested in here is the chopping guides. Now the chopping guides come out of the rulers. Now to bring those chopping guides out, you need to left click on a ruler and drag. And you can see you can pull out this line. Now wherever I drop that line, it's going to chop the artwork. So I just position it just where the uh, vinyl is actually going to finish, the width of the, of the cut file, or sorry, of the vinyl in the cutter, and let go there. And you can see it's actually chopped it here for me. And if I zoom in, you can see it makes these alignment marks. Now they're very handy for when you're on site and you're actually lining things up. I'll explain to you what I mean by that. If I zoom out or zoom to all and I move that off, let's say, and I put it down here and I try and save some of my vinyl here by putting this all in the one tile. When I come on site, I can lay out this bottom piece here and then I can come with this top piece and line up these two uh, arrows and they'll line up, if I line them up perfectly on site, the actual um, cut file or the artwork will line up perfectly in situ. So that's a very handy thing, these alignment tiles. I'll just undo that. So the good thing about these chopping guides, and you've got a horizontal one as well, is you can put them wherever you like. Like I can put a chopping guide there, for example, and it will just split those two off for me, like so and I can always undo that. Or I may wish to cut directly in half, so I could come down here like this and, and chop it there and move that off to there like that and have my two halves. So the chopping guides are very powerful because they let you uh, position exactly where you want to cut and you can cut uh, along the horizontal and the vertical together, it's, that's fine. Um, and the example I showed you just before where you just come in here just between these two and you can actually position in this particular case um, the artwork, this top part of the artwork, so that it only takes up one tile. And because you've got these two overlapping 
uh, points here, actually if I just move that to the left a bit more, um, you can see that it fits in quite well. Uh, and when I cut this out I'm going to have my alignment marks here so that I can go on site and put this sign together very easily. So you can use those uh, chopping guides to your advantage there. The other thing you want to know about is the overlap. So if I click on that uh, button there, see it's set to 0.25 of an inch, I can change the overlap as well. So I might make that say half an inch for example or roughly 12 mil. So when I bring in a chopping guide now, if I bring that down, you'll see that the chopping guide is actually quite a lot wider. It's actually half an inch now, or 12 mil. So that's where those chopping guides are. You've also got things like the speed boxes like that, um, and of course you can undo that. Um, and you've got lift marks and align marks, and you've also got um, uh, alignment marks that you can put in by, um, like manually for example. Um, so I can drag these out and put them anywhere I like, or click on that and then just put them wherever I want to. And what that means is, is that if you cut this out, you can um, use these alignment marks on the job like I was showing you here, uh, but do it manually. So there's a lot of powerful tools here, and um, the chopping guides are very, very useful for doing complex layouts and uh, tiling up or panelling your work. So that's how that works. And when you're done, you just click Apply, and it just loads it in, as you can see, ready to go. And you can click Cut Now like I did before. I can show you that now and it will just load it straight into the vinyl spooler ready to go. So I've actually taken what was uh, two pieces and I've, I've managed to make it one piece by using the chopping guides and carefully positioning those so that I can then move my artwork around to fit better on the tile uh, or on the vinyl strip there um, to save more media than I would have otherwise. So that's how the tiling works uh, and that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.